Join TWR in 2023. TWR Tweaky Tuesdays. Simone. Hey, you know I'm on that though, man. Y'all, come join it. In the traders war room, war with the market. TWR is your one-stop shop. How TWR do today? Trimmed out of PRTY shares, went ahead and got that 2x with the return on investment. Uber, reduced risk, trimmed, $10 per con. PRTY option, secure it all, $23 per contract, plus 5x on the ROI. Bed Bath & Beyond, we secured most today, almost got the 2x, $36 per contract. Google, we trimmed high yesterday and secured the rest today, $8 per contract. AVXL, we went ahead and scaled out $10 per contract. There's a catalyst later this week, so we're going to hold the rest of the position, see if we can make some more. Riven, we went ahead and trimmed on the day, $11 per contract. We're just riding the wave on this one. And finally, Coin, we scaled out majority today. We left some runners, $63 per contract. Team, I've told you many times, with Traders War Room, $100 to $1,000 per day is easily achievable and very possible. With so many ways to win, quit wasting money that's not making money. What's hot and what's not? Here's your markets today. Everything was green, but it was an extremely choppy market today and very slow moving. Picture representation of the S&P 500, you can see that the majority of the green is the bigger sectors that have the market cap. Sector performance, and I'm definitely watching utilities and consumer staples to see if we can rebound a little bit from the dump. Usually you'll see a shift in the sectors and stuff that is popping will taper off and we can see some of the laggers recap some of the losses. Here's your calls versus puts premium. It's about 50-50, leaning more bare towards the close. Here's your dark pools. We're starting to see some new names floating here. Microsoft, Visa, Amazon. So definitely watch those. Potentially could see some jump in uh, some volatility and pushes. Futures, mostly red, but we'll see what happens when that bell rings. All right, top news. Stock futures are little changed after NASDAQ's third straight winning day. So the stock futures were quiet on Tuesday evening as Wall Street looked to build on what has been a positive start to 2023 so far. So not much change on the futures. Definitely everything is moving off of momentum and we're starting to see some sentiment plays as well. So we'll see what happens in pre-market and then we'll make our tactical decisions when that bell rings. Next story, we're going to talk about Powell and his vow that the Fed will not be a climate policymaker. So Jerome Powell said on Tuesday he pushed back on pressure to use the central bank's powers to fight climate change, arguing that it's up to the president and Congress to take that lead. So definitely some hawkish tones, but some dovish undertones as well. So it was interesting to hear this. We'll see what the market reacts you know, closing out this week and especially with CPI data on Thursday. So I'm interested to see what type of digestion the market will have with upcoming news. And this news is interesting. And what's interesting about it is the FTC is kind of taking the head on this one. So last week, the FTC proposed new rule that would ban the use of non-compete clauses and employment contracts. Basically, companies would also be forced to inform current employees that any previous signed non-competes were no longer binding. And these clauses, which typically prevent workers from joining competitors or starting their own company for a certain period of time after the employment, are already banned on largely unforeseeable in a small number of states. Now, the funny thing with these non-competes is that when they usually go in front of a jury or for, you know, like civil court cases and stuff like that, they're usually not ironclad except for things that are, you know, very sensitive in nature and could have grave harm to the economy or certain undertones of businesses that have large market caps. So this will be interesting to see. And there's still some question on why the FTC is taking the lead on it, but we'll see how this plays out and we'll see what happens with the market as it digests and we get more information on it. Stocks I like for trades. Here's your top trending tickers, and the ones with the arrows are the ones that 
have my attention. Uh, I'm paying attention to all of these plus a few other ones, but those are the ones that I think have the most potential for, you know, some sort of volatility move with a dramatic shift either to the call side or to the put side. Here's your earnings, and nothing really is popping out except for we got a couple things on Thursday, and then we got a lot of the financials and some of the beginning of the airlines on Friday. So I'm paying attention to a couple of these tickers, but really nothing stellar for this week as far as earnings are concerned. So first up on the charts, SPY, I'm looking for a push towards 393. If we can beat that area, then we got pretty much a clean run towards 400 and that would be a fantastic way to close out the week but we got to get to that 393 first next up is rum i'm liking shares at this point and we got a clear path to ten dollars so definitely we'll be looking to potentially get into shares come to market tomorrow loving me some meta right now we got the outside bar and we got a path towards 134 however if we get that resistance and a rejection at the higher level we got the bottom part of the support over there at 122 so it'll be interesting to see what this does and this could be a great trade for potentially riding the bull and riding the bear coin loving it next stop 46 ish guys we already got an open contract on this we're looking out a couple weeks with the strike of 50 so we're definitely looking for that upward push and we're just making money while we ride the train and finally bank of america got earnings on friday to make or break week for these guys 36 dollars is very possible on some strong earnings or the run-up and two earnings and so with that said we got our free alert i know you guys have been waiting on the next free alert off of youtube so i got one for you let's go ahead and make some money here's what i'm looking at bac 17 february we're gonna do a call on this one and here's how i see it that 34 is the best 35 is good and the 36 is okay and that's the price i'm trying to get it at around that 150 155 area would be okay if i could get it at 145 that would be a plus so we'll definitely see what happens at the bell but this is the one that i'm going to be looking to get into especially if we stay at the level or close a little bit above where we are currently i'm going to go ahead and pull the trigger upcoming twr classes all right team so our next class is set guys the date is 22 january the time is 1 p.m central standard time 15 bucks gets you a seat and you get to keep the recording we have our veteran over 35 years of trading a former wall street broker and he is going to come in here and teach you how to scalp the market utilizing just basic indicators all right tons of stuff out there free influencers and stuff and they're all giving you this and that and the next big thing guys forget that okay our seven figure mentor is going to come in here and tell you guys and show you guys exactly what has made him a fortune over the 35 years he's been trading and you're not going to be able to get this type of training anywhere else other than traders war room so go right here traderswarroom.com slash upcoming classes the link is in the description and don't forget every battle needs a plan and we want you to plan your battle with traders war room classes make that market bend the knee and sign up for the class i will see you there on 22 january 1 p.m central standard time that's it team don't forget join the twr investment club check out our free chat to learn more make the market bend the knee in 2023 Join TWR and bow to no one. The link is in the description or on the website at traderswarm.com. Let's go to war. Join it. In the traders war room, war with the market every day we on Zoom. Never gonna quit, ain't no way we gonna lose. 